want to talk about optimizing your wireless network now. Everyone uh, in offices and even homes are, are getting into wireless access points because it makes it easy to share your network and your internet connection. But as more and more people start using these devices, the, uh, the airwaves get more and more polluted. I'm talking with our network guy, Sean Walker. And um, why, why are these things starting to interfere with each other so much? Well, the main reason is there's only a certain amount of spectrum that is out there for, for wireless networks to, to operate. Um, in North America, there are, there's uh, 11 discrete channels that the, that the signals can physically operate on um, in, a, in a fairly narrow band of spectrum. Um, each channel itself is, is 22 megahertz wide, but they are only 5 megahertz apart. In other words, the channels themselves actually overlap. So on these things, you can set it between 1 and 11 as far Correct. as channels. So if you had you're set at four and maybe your neighbor had it set at five, you're actually overlapping? Exactly. So the, most people would think that because they're on different channels, they're going to be fine. And that's actually not the case. Um, if you are in a, a fairly dense uh, uh, environment with wireless networks, there's only four channels that you can actually put yourselves on that will keep, keep uh, just basically the networks apart. Well, that means we're kind of hooped. I mean, if you're working in a big office building, there's, there could be like a dozen different access points. Exactly. So. I mean, there's only so many channels you can go on, so does that mean it's just going to be tons of interference? That's part of it. Um, the, the biggest thing that you need to do up front is to do a, a site survey. So if you're planning on installing a wireless device, find out what's out there. Um, using, there's a bunch of different programs that you can use to install on your laptop or, or PC to take a look at what's out there and what channels are physically being used. What are some of the names of, what's a popular one? Um, the one I use is called NetStumbler and it's a, it's a freeware piece of software that you can load and do a, a survey and it'll actually tell you what's around you. And will it tell you what channels everyone's on? It'll to? tell you what channels and then the relative signal strength. So is it really, really strong or is it very, very weak? And from there you can make an educated decision on where are you going to place your, your access point channel. These things, uh, the wireless B and G networks, uh, I guess the G is the more popular one now, uh, they operate at 2.4 gigahertz. And obviously that it, there's a whole bunch of other devices like wireless game controllers and stuff, Mi yeah. microwaves? Microwaves are, well they, they are very, very wideband. They blast through everything. Um, cordless telephones. Um, Bluetooth is also in that band. Um, that is an unregulated section of spectrum. So, for example, uh, the, um, wireless companies actually have to go to the government and they get licensed to use that spectrum and nobody else can. But consumer devices are using the unregulated unre spectrum. So, essentially, it's, it's a free-for-all. Anybody can use any part of it and there's no repercussions. You can't say, you, you can't, you know, say that is mine and no one else can use it. So I'm kind of hooped here. In our office building, we've got five different floors, and everyone's using wireless networks now, and ours is constantly dropping. So I can't do anything. Well, you need to take a look at what you have and then make an educated decision on where, what channel you're going to be on. Um, like, for example, if somebody's on channel 6, which is the default channel that most, most access points have out of the box, if you go to the far end, channel 11 or channel 1, you can actually avoid that radio interference but I could totally fake out my, my neighbors by going to them and saying, hey, you should all be on channel one, and then put myself on channel 11, and then I'm, I'm great. Yep, absolutely. Hopefully they're not watching the show. Uh, just want to quickly talk about range extenders. Uh, a lot of different companies have these out on the market, and essentially what they're supposed to do is extend the range of your wireless network. So if you're not quite getting a signal at the end of your office or your home, uh, by putting this, I guess, in the middle, it'll keep it going. Exactly. How effective are they? They work. It's basically a repeater. So the, the, this receives the signal from the main access point and then retransmits it. So it will definitely help, um, but you pay a penalty. Basically, it, it decreases the overall throughput. Um, but that's better to have a, a slow, solid connection than a, a fast, unreliable one. So I guess a couple tips there. Make sure that you change the channel to reflect what your neighbors are having and that you have, a, I guess, a good space apart between them and use uh, software like NetStumbler to kind of give you an overall lay of the land as far as it's concerned. Sean Walker, our network guy. Check out some more information up at our website, getconnectedtvshow.com.